okay? Non-gender, but you can see the red is on the same side and the black is on the same side. Marine grade shrink tubing everywhere. Marine grade shrink tubing following the wires, keeping them together. Even on the extra grounds. Marine grade shrink tubing, marine grade shrink tubing. And everything is tight. Okay, so when I take this apart, I tuck these wires under my floor mat here. As you can see, it's up a little because I don't want anybody to see it. Okay, so let's turn him on and the radio is off okay it's alive it's alive a BJ 300 plus the plus is the fan on there okay the radio is not on so that's the how you hook up a linear whether you disconnect it every day or whether you just hooking it up to leave it the very first thing before you even turn the power on is to hook up the antenna that way if something bad happens it does have the antenna on there to save it okay I have my match my SWR set for 27.555 that way I can go up and I can go down okay so it's hooked up and it's on a uh, low side and it's on sideband I'm more of a sideband operator I like to talk on sideband all over the world and it goes from my radio it goes from my meter over to the radio okay now let's go over here close the door and you see how the connectors are I have a K40 quarter wave whip that antenna can handle 20,000 watts and it can actually handle more than that because quarter wave whips can can hold a whole lot of juice on them but that's a quarter wave whip the K40 antenna they're very easy to set your SWR for any given frequency between 10 and 12 meters okay so we go in here again our radio is not turned on you can hear the linear over there, the fans running, keeping it cool, even though it's not hot yet. And I'm sure you've seen videos before of me talking to global stations. I'm a global kind of guy, so I'm going to set my radio over here in my lap like I normally do. got my radio here and I'm gonna turn the radio on but this radio has adjustable power okay so in radio land that's called a dot a watt all right so I have my meter all right now I always check my meter and put it where I want it to be where it needs to be so this proper check the linear the linears on everything seems to be running fine okay and I know I got a lot of wires but that's just because I just hooked it up just to make the video okay so the radio is on 28 And I'm on 27555, and I'm on upper sideband. You probably can't see that with this camera. But, finally, there is a signal out there. Finally, the, the radio and the amplifier are hooked up. And you see how close that mic is to my leg. Okay, you could accidentally sit on your mic and squeeze it, and it'll be transmitting that's why you have to hook the antenna up to linear first before you even put power to it you hook the antenna up okay that way if something keys it up and it starts transmitting it has an antenna on there to keep from blowing it got my meter there tell me what's going on SWR power meter 20 200 and 2000 watts 
depending on the range. Uh, average and PEP, SWR calibration, SWR readings, and all that. So we have our power, our dyno watt on the radio turn all the way down. Okay, so this linear, again, linears aren't for dummies. When you're operating it, it can take 10 to 12 watts drive on sideband. So you can turn your radio up to 10 to 12 watts. But when you're on AM or FM, okay, you have to turn your power down to your radio down to 4 or 5 watts. So each time you change modes, you have to pay attention to what you're doing. Because if you go from sideband to AM and then you don't turn the power down, you pump 12 watts of AM into this linear or any linear for that matter, unless it's a high drive, then it's going to blow something. Okay, so... Again, folks, I know it looks sloppy, but it's a professional installation, believe it or not. If I didn't have the quick disconnectors, the wires would be a bit shorter. I have them set so that I can move the linear, look at it, make sure the fan run is right there to me. I can flip it high to low and do all that. Okay, if the linear was in my vehicle, permanently mounted, the wires would be a little bit shorter. You wouldn't see them. And it would be it would be a stationary mount, and then you wouldn't have to go through all the connections, you know, every time you do it. But again, I take it out of my vehicle. So there you have it. That's how you hook up a linear directly to your battery, and you have to make everything redundant. You see my connectors: blue to blue, red black to red black, gray connectors, red connectors. Okay, everything is tight. And again, folks, I know it looks like a big mess, but believe me, uh, they're not for dummies, and I do know exactly what wires go and where. You have to. You don't, you don't hook it up wrong. So that's the proper way to hook up an amplifier, be it a thump, thump, boom, boom for your music or linear amplifier or power for a winch or you got fog lights to draw a bit of juice. Whatever you have, if you're going to draw a lot of juice, you need to have everything tight, good quality wire, and you need your system to be able to handle double the power requirements that you need. This box will run approximately 25 amps on, on high side, okay? So the system can handle 50. That means when it's working and it's doing 25 amps on high side, that 50 amp system, those connectors, the fuse holder, all it's just coasting along. It's in comparison to driving your car 100 miles an hour all the time or driving your car 50 miles an hour all the time. Okay, your car could do 100, but it's going to say, oh, what are you doing to me? Why are you doing this? Electrical supply systems are the same way. Why are you pushing it so hard? You have to have double the capacity available for what you need so that you don't get wires hot nothing melts none of that happens and then again your fuse you never overrate your fuse you give yourself about five extra amps which is a lot or ten extra amps if you're using like you know above 50 amps and and go from there you never oversize your fuse I could put a hundred amp fuse in there and see what that does blow up everything so I got my uh, my 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 data watt turned down, and we're on upper side on five five five. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Everything's working properly. Connectors, coax connectors are tight. Everything is good. So I made this video for Super 60 so he could see how to hook it up. And I forgot to mention, folks, if you're running your, your, your amplifier with the, with the motor not running, that battery is going to drop to 12 volts pretty quickly. I mean, pretty real, real quickly. But when you have the motor running, you're probably going to be doing at least 13.8 volts, maybe 14.2, depending on your vehicle. Okay, so 13.8 volts, let's just go with that, is 1.8 volts more. And that's a big percentage. That's 
a big percentage of 12 volts okay so 1.2 volts is is 10 percent so 1.8 is 15 percent so just by having your vehicle running at 13.8 volts compared to 12 volts is 15 percent more voltage that's as high about as you want to go you can go to 14.2 the box is probably rated for 15 okay but you don't ever want to over volt your box because it's not good for it and when you run it with your your car battery you don't have to have an external charger you don't have to go through any of those changes and headaches okay and you get a little few extra whiskeys out of it because your voltage is higher but it's still within specs also when you do have the higher voltage that means you have lower amperage okay high voltage means low amps low voltage means high amps so when you up it by 15 percent you lower your amps and amps is what makes the heat your current and your amperage same thing current and amperage are the same thing that's what does the work and that's what makes the heat okay so when you up your voltage the amperage and the current goes down and it'll also allow your your linear or your thump thump to, to run a little bit cooler okay so it there's and you don't have to have external batteries <coughs> all that again I oversized the battery so I got plenty of juice in the battery I can talk for probably 10 minutes and then have to start the battery start the car to keep the battery going so anyway folks that's a a professional installation and I'm sure there's people out there that are going to say, you know what, that guy's an idiot. And I'm also sure that there's people out there that are going to say, um, you could have done this or you could have done that. Okay, so if you think that there's something else that I could have done that would put added redundancies to the installation, just leave a comment and I'll be more than willing to, to consider it and institute it into into the way I have it hooked up the, the safer the better okay the more safeties I can get out of it the better likewise if you think I'm an idiot let's all be adults here folks don't leave a comment saying you idiot you stupid such and so you bloody idiot you, you, you got no idea what you're doing if you feel that way that's fine you have the right to just don't leave any stupid comments you can tell me hey dude you should have done this, you should have done that, you know, whatever, and, and we can hash it out. But if you do leave a stupid comment that doesn't fall within the social media guidelines, then I'm going to delete the comment and I'm going to block you from making any comments further to my videos. But it is a premium installation, premium installation, so other than the fact that these wires are all around, and it's that doesn't that doesn't bother me I know exactly where they go only reason these wires are around is because I do hook it up and take it out every each and every time I talk okay I don't leave my my equipment in in the vehicle this here is as you know as I showed you a BJ 300 plus the plus is the fan and this linear is 300 watts and it cost me $89 plus tax. Free shipping on eBay. So linears are pretty cheap now. And this is a super popular linear. I mean, they're all over the place. Because Texas Stars and some of those other linears, Palomars and Messengers. and Those linears are really hard to get a hold of nowadays. New. And when you, you, you see a lot of them that are used, that are that have issues they're not really working that well and I just prefer to buy new stuff so 300 watts is plenty for for sideband I'm a sideband talker and I can talk all over the world on 10 watts but 300 watts will get me over to QRM a little bit when there's CQ contest a train wreck you know you're gonna make it through a little bit better your modulation is up good you know everything is everything is rolling properly so Again, I love these connectors, gender-free, non-gender connectors. One connector does both sides. Linear has a fan on it. Keep it cool. Everything is is good, good new. 
excellent, excellent. I didn't buy anything cheap. So, anyway, Super 60, that's what I recommend that you would do to hook your linear up instead of having an external battery and then having to deal with ground issues and an external charger and all that. The linear that you're running, that RM Italy KL503, I believe it is, it doesn't run more power than this 300. And you can easy run it off your battery if you upgrade your battery or if you don't. It doesn't matter. You can run it off your battery, especially if your motor's running. So, Super 60, I've been promising you the video. And I'm sorry it took me so long. But, I made it for you. And I'm going to post it. And I hope that everybody watches this video. Gives me a thumbs up. And leaves me a comment saying, yeah, dude, you got a good hookup there because everything is tight. Okay, everything is tight. Everything is good quality. And everything can handle um, the juice that I need. 50 amp quick disconnects, 10,000 operations, 10 gauge wire, 16 gauge blue wires for the extra grounds. Those two extra grounds, <clears throat> they're going to put me in DX land almost instantly. Okay, if you have a linear, you could have a good SWR, and you can't get no skip, you just can't get it, you can't get it, then if you want some DX, some good DX skip, put an extra ground on the chassis of your linear, and you will instantly start talking all the way around the world. So anyway, folks, please like, share, subscribe, definitely subscribe. I will subscribe to everybody who leaves a comment, and hopefully... Somebody does say, hey, dude, you could have did this and give me a good, more good ideas for more redundant safeties. And, uh, again, I'll certainly, certainly be happy to make it even safer because it is a lot of power. That that line, it, it's, it's limited to 30 amps because of the fuse. But if I put 100 amps in it, it could start a fire and explosion. Uh, batteries, when they explode, it's like a stick of dynamite. It'll almost blow the hood off of your vehicle. It's going to buckle the hood because they explode like a bomb. Stick of dynamite. So anyway, folks, there it is. There's the hookup video for today. And thanks for watching Torpedo Heat TV. And as usual, have a good day.